In this example, we are going to be trying to find some vectors. Um, let me read through the problem, and there's one key word that's going to change very... It's going to make how we draw our picture a little bit different than in a previous problem. So we have forces of 48 and 60 newtons that are pulling on a point. The angle between them is 50 degrees. We want to find the angle between the equilibrant. This is what makes me draw my picture a little bit different. So... Um, in a prior example, we kind of drew something like this. And we had a force pulling in this direction, force pulling in this direction. Now we would have a 50 degree angle. Um, but I'm going to show a little bit of a difference because of that. That means that we have a pull in this direction and a pull in this direction. And between the two of them, um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to negate this pull. So if you were walking a dog and one dog was going in this direction for a certain pull, we'll call it 48, and then you had another dog that was pulling in this direction, we'll call it 60, and the angle between them is 50, how much pull back do you have to have in order to kind of counter their pull? That's what that is. So you're trying to counter their pull by kind of going right perfectly in the middle. But it's not going to be in the middle um, because this one is pulling harder and we don't know the direction, but the direction between them is 50. So um, so there's some physics and everything involved in that, but that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, and it says, find the angle between. So we're actually looking for this angle right here. That's gonna be the end key that we're looking for, okay? So here's how we go about doing this. We have a pull of 48 in this direction, we have a pull of 60 in this direction, and all we know is that the angle between them is 50 degrees. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a parallelogram out of this thing. We're going to be tacking on this vector onto this one, and we're going to be tacking this vector onto this one. Trying to keep it as parallel as possible. Alright, so they should meet perfectly, hopefully if I drew that kind of okay. Um, that we got this going on, right? That value is our equilibrium, but in the wrong direction. So if we can find that value, it'll actually help us to figure out this one. So this is a negative, whatever that value is. So here's our resultant force, and then we want to counter it by going in that direction. All right, so... Um, I know that the whole thing here makes 50 degrees, but what I don't know is how that 50 degrees is broken up. And that's what I gotta figure out. Because if I could figure out this angle, then I can just take 180 minus that angle to figure out that angle. So, what do we know? Um, it goes into the parallelogram. So, we do have this parallelogram, so we'll kinda start to break up some of the pieces here, that as far as our parallelogram goes, we know that we have a 48, we know that this is 50, and we know that this is 60. Well, if this is 50, and since it's a parallelogram, these two make 180, or these two make 180. So if that's 50, that leaves this at 130, which is actually perfect. Because if I can label that at 130, and since it's a parallelogram, this is 60, then we are looking at a triangle of, I'll do my best here, that we got 48, and we got 60, and we have 60, and we have 130 degrees between it. Now what we need to figure out is this angle um, is kind of our goal. So I'm going to um, use law of cosines to figure out this side, and then I once I have law of cosines to figure out that side, then I can use law of sines to figure out this angle with this side. So it's gonna be a two-step process. So I'm gonna figure out this V, and then I'll use the V to figure out this angle, okay? So first thing is, I'm gonna use law of cosines, so I'm gonna have V squared, um, let me do this in red. So we have V squared is gonna equal uh, 48 squared, if we use law of cosines, plus 60 squared minus two times them. 48 times 60 times cosine of the angle in between them, which is also this angle across from the side you're looking for. So sine of 130. 
or cosine of 130. So if we put all that into the calculator, we're going to get roughly 9606.5 and probably a bunch of numbers after that. Uh, we'll square root that. And our resultant vector is about 98 newtons. So as far as the pull, we'd have to be pulling 98 newtons in that direction. All right, now the angle in between them is we could now replace that with 98, and then I can do law of sines from here. So I would be doing sine of 130 over 98 uh, is going to equal, um, I don't know, we can call this theta, I suppose. And that's going to go with 60. So sine of theta over 60. We cross multiply. 98 sine of theta equals 60 sine of 130. Divide by 98. And then whatever this value is, we're going to have to do the inverse sine of it. So theta is going to be the inverse sine of whatever this turns out to be. Alright, so theta, plug that into a calculator, make sure we're in degrees. We get that to be about 28 degrees. Alright, so if theta is 28, we can put that in here. If that's 28, this um, angle between the equilibrium and the 48 degree vector is going to be 180 minus the 28 degrees and so that's going to turn out to be 152 degrees. So that is our angle right there in between those two. All right so that was finding an equilibrium and um, finding the angle between the equilibrium and one of the vectors.